Creepy crawly bugs took over the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University for its 11th annual Bug Fest. It was a huge celebration of insects. Every Bug Fest, we have bugs live displays throughout the entire museum. Our entomological displays come out that are rarely seen. And we have a variety of educational activities highlighting the wonderful world of insects and their relatives. Visitors were able to see more than 120 live species of insects throughout the museum. So why devote a whole weekend to these prickly pests? Bugs are the movers and shakers of the world. Without insects and their relatives, the world would not turn. They literally are responsible for so many levels of jobs that keep the world going, that the world really truly cannot live without insects, arachnids, and other arthropods. I have an atlas beetle, which is one of our large live beetles that we have on display here uh, at Bugfest. This is from Southeast Asia. Right now he's enjoying a banana. And he has horns because he's a rhino beetle. The females do not have the horns. The males have those horns to wrestle for a girlfriend and also over food. So is there such a thing as good and bad bugs? There are definitely bugs out there with a bad reputation. And invasive species are always problematic because they don't have natural predators to keep their numbers in check. But in general, when insects are in their native lands, they are very, very important to their environment. Many are indicator species for a healthy environment. Many are food sources for other animals. Many are recyclers, breaking down different leaf material, dead plants, as well as dead animals. Without things like those recyclers, the world would not be able to regenerate new plants. So even though some people might think like maggots are bad, they actually are good because they're one of those things that are breaking down all those things that would just pile up. And then also not only in their natural world with their jobs, there's a lot of that we learn from insects. There's a lot of research being done with different insects that have helped in robotics, that have helped in medicine, that have helped even inspire creations like helicopters and air conditioning. But what if you just don't like bugs? You don't have to be a an insect enthusiast to come here. You can come and just see what we're about, but by the time you leave, you probably will be an insect enthusiast because of all the things you can see up close. It was definitely a weekend to bring the kids. I don't like bugs. The kids don't like them, but they're curious. So this is like a safe way to get them to kind of get, know, know the unknown for them. Kind of just got started, but we're interested in the roach race. <laughs> We race a variety of species of roaches, and you can cheer on your favorite race because the roaches are actually among the fastest of the runners of the insects, and it's one of those really misunderstood species of insects. Bugfest even offered sweet treats made with insects. It tastes like sunflower seeds. We cooked mealworms in the candy, and then we just made little molded figurines of grasshoppers. Guests could also enjoy beautiful butterflies in this habitat exhibit. And if visitors didn't have enough, they headed to the extreme bug exhibit on the third floor where bugs truly ruled. Check out this enormous bed bug, or this hissing cockroach from Madagascar, or this European honeybee. These animatronics tell a rarely seen story of the behaviors of extreme bugs. And while Bugfest only lasted a weekend, the Extreme Bug Exhibit is still open until January 21st. For Philly Cam Voices, I'm Monica Robinson.